Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Welcome back to the Morning Mindset Podcast. I am, once again, still, indeed, your host, Paul Markle. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, during last week's uh, episodes, a couple of episodes last week, I talked about Christmas and Christmas memories, some of the memories I had from when I was a very young child and some of the memories that I had when I was a a young man, just recently married, had a little son, and uh, I shared those with you. And I keep those memories with me, share them with my wife and my family. And I wanted to talk today about what I believe is probably the best Christmas gift for your family. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're, if you're similar to me or if you're in a similar position, each year, you know, you will hear from your family. They will ask you. What do you want for Christmas? Or do you want anything for Christmas? We do this with our kids all the time, right? Little Johnny, little Susie. We say, what do you want for Christmas, Johnny? What do you want for Christmas, Susie? It used to be really simple, didn't it? It used to be simple. We wanted a G.I. Joe with a Kung Fu grip. Or we wanted the $6 million man Steve Austin action figure, right? We wanted that. We wanted a football or whatever. A football? We wanted a Daisy Red Rider BB gun. 200-shot range model with the... Uh, compass in the stock and a thing that tells time. (laughs) It used to be really simple, didn't it? When we were kids, it was simple to just ask for something, whatever it was. Maybe you wanted ice skates or, you know, you name it. But you wanted something simple or something that you'd had your eye on all year. And like I said, when I was a kid, there was two times a year that you got toys or presents on your birthday and at Christmas. And Lord help you if your birthday was close to Christmas, because then you had to wait a whole rest of the year. You know, if you're born in January, you're you're kind of shortchanged, man, because people are like, man, I just gave you a Christmas gift and, and it's your birthday. Like my son, my son has a January birthday and uh, <laughs> he gets kind of shortchanged. You know? The best way to do it is maybe to have like a June birthday. That way you can spread it out. But we don't do that anymore. We indulge our kids today. We spoil our kids. We give them presents and toys all the time. But when you get older, you don't really need toys. You don't really need presents. You know, when you're an adult, if there's something that you feel like you need, that you need to satisfy your life, whether it's new golf clubs or a new bowling ball or whatever, whatever it is that you see, generally, you figure out your budget and you just go get it. You don't wait for Christmas. You you know, when you're an adult, especially if you're the dad, if you're Santa Claus, uh, you don't wait around for Christmas time to ask for a new whatever because you're the one who's in charge of getting this stuff anyway. So how do we deal with the what's the best Christmas gift? What do you want for Christmas, Dad? What do you want for Christmas, Mom? And uh, most of the time, the honest answer is I really don't need anything. I don't have to have anything. Now, you always say, well, come on, Dad, I know you don't need anything, but what do you want? i got to give you a present. i got to get you something. Or you say to your wife, you know, she says to you, I don't need anything this year. Don't give me anything. Which really means uh, you need to get me something, but you shouldn't have had to ask me. That's what that really means. Uh, or there's some better be something under the tree because if there's not, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> the best Christmas gift that I can remember ever getting, and now that I'm older and I can consider it, the best Christmas gifts to me are the memories of Christmas's past, are the memories of the times that I spent with my family as a child, the memories of going over to my grandparents' house and having Christmas dinner and exchanging gifts in the living room. And, and you know, I got, I got gifts that, that, I, that I enjoyed. When I was uh, very young, right after Star Wars was released, I was a child when the original Star Wars came out. I was in elementary school. 
And uh, I immediately got into the Star Wars action figures. And I started collecting Star Wars action figures. And one year uh, for Christmas, when I, like I said, I was in elementary school. I don't remember what year it was. It, was, it wasn't even 1980 yet. It was in the 70s. But I got a Death Star playset. That's right. The Death Star playset from my grandma and grandpa for my Star Wars action figures. And that was wonderful. But, in it, in, you know, aside from the, the actual physical things, when I think about that now, when I go back and think about the Christmases that I've had over my lifetime, I don't think so much about the objects, about the things, about the toys. I mean, you remember things like that because it's nostalgia. But what was more important to me and what has been more important to me, especially as I get older, is the memories of the times that I spent with the people in my life. Where I was, you know, I think about where I was, I think about the situation. You know, there were some times when I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, there was a couple of times that I could not go home for Christmas. You know, that's one of the big things. At least it was when I was in, you know, being in the military. When you're in the military, especially if you're in the infantry and you're deployed all the time, it's will you be home for Christmas, you know? Will you be home for Christmas this year? And uh, if memory serves, I was home for one. When I was active duty, I was able to come home for one Christmas. And there, there, were, so there were times that I made it home, you know, a week after Christmas or I got to go home before or what have you. But one year... I wasn't able to go home for Christmas because it just wasn't in the cards. I had duty and, you know, we were doing we were doing our military stuff. But a good friend of mine uh, only lived, his hometown was only a few hours away from where we were stationed. And so we got a couple of days off. Not really enough time for me to, to fly home and fly back, you know. That's just by the time you get there, you're, you're finishing up and you're turning around and you're coming home again. So we drove over to his house, and I spent Christmas with him and his family. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful. And even though I wasn't able to be with my family, I was, be able to, I was able to share it with him and his family. There were times when I was deployed overseas, and I just shared the Christmas holiday with the people in my, my company, my platoon, my unit. Then I got married and had kids and so forth. And what I'm saying to you is this. Right now, as the Christmas season is approaching... People will say to you, what do you want? Maybe your kids say that. Maybe your spouse says that. I would say, and if you're the dad, if you're Santa Claus, maybe your responsibility is to help all those other people make good Christmas memories. Your job is to create fond Christmas memories. And sometimes the memories don't seem so fond uh, when they're close up and they, they become fonder as you get farther away from them, like trudging up and down the side of a mountain to harvest a Christmas tree, to harvest your very own Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem that fun when you're actually doing it, but after you're done, years later, you can talk about it. So if you're the dad, if you're the Santa Claus, if you're in charge of getting gifts for people, I would say one of the best gifts that you can give yourself and your family, is to do something that creates fond memories, things that people will carry with them long after the toys and the trinkets and the ties and, you know, all the, all the, the crazy stuff that you get and you put on the shelf and then you just, like, don't even know what happens to it. Long after all that has faded away, you'll have those memories. And that is what I hope that each and every one of you will have this year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Paul Markle. I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.